What is up and welcome back to Movement Monday where we tackle everything from your relationship to yourself, your relationship to others, and your relationship to your purpose and your craft. My name is Matthew Cook and I am so excited to help you keep moving forward. So today we're going to be talking about something that's potentially a little controversial and I don't give a hoot because this is something that has been under acknowledged in our industry for a very, very long time. So. I'm going to say it very simply is that there is something called the mind body connection, right? We talk about this connection that's inherent to being a human, right? So there is this idea that it, we have a mind, we have a mind that is, that is even outside of our brain, right? That there's consciousness within all of our being, within all of our physical being. And there's also consciousness even outside of us, right? We can talk about the subtle body and and the all all are one concept, right? But I wanna talk about something very specifically though today is that there is a relationship between the body and the mind. So this, it seems like a really minor distinction, but to just simply say that there's a body-mind connection, I feel like is way too elementary, right? There's this idea that our body and our mind Yes, they have a connection, right? Like, like obviously, if we're to take it on a very gross physical level, it's like our brain, right, is connected to part, it's part of our body, right? So it's just, to me, it's very elementary to say that. Whereas I think what's more important is that there's an actual connection that's a relationship between the two. And I think that's what we're actually managing. So, right, like when we talk about going to yoga classes, when we talk about meditation, right, we're talking about this idea of being in connection with our body. That's great. It's great. But again, even connection, like we can connect to a computer. We can connect to um, to a, a stuffed animal, right? Like we can connect with it. Like we can visit, like connection is more of a physical thing. Relationship is a dynamic, ever changing, moving, flowing thing where there is, there is ups and there is downs and there is movement, right? And that is what is occurring in our relationship with our body and our mind. Because here's the interesting thing is that our environment is constantly shaping both. I'm going to say that again, our environment is constantly shaping both our body, our physical body, and our physical and non-physical, non-local mind. So with that being said, they are constantly in this relationship, this conversation of how are we, how are we reconciling things? And this, and the way that this plays out in the real world is boundaries right is is taking time to ourselves to restore regenerate relax so that we can then plow forward and crush it and make the impact that we're meant to do here so when people ask me hey matthew what is it that you do i say i help driven solopreneurs master their physical energy and their time so they can create and contribute more with ease Right? Instead of having to like crush it and hustle it and Gary Vaynerchuk it all the time, right? Gary Vaynerchuk, incredible human being, doing so many impactful things for the planet. And one of the things that I think a lot of people do by bastardizing his work is saying that you have to not sleep and you just have to crush it and only work four hours a day. Guys, it's baloney, or excuse me, only sleep four hours a day. It's baloney to say that, that we're all built that way, right? And this is where it comes into play is having the relationship between your body in your mind, right? Not my body, not Gary Vaynerchuk's body, not Grant Cardone's body, not um, Tony Robbins' body. It's your body, mind, relationship. So that's it today. I just want to talk about that. Such an important distinction is that you are a dynamic being. Your body and your mind are very dynamic. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, if you are feeling disorganized, if you are feeling scattered, if you are feeling lonely, if you are feeling anxiety or depression, those are all, all of those, even autoimmune diseases, are all a byproduct of a body-mind relationship where y'all are broken up, where y'all aren't actually that close of friends, right? So here's the thing is, the body is, is just an unconscious representation of our consciousness. So here's the thing, y'all just need to get into better relationship. You need to start dating your body again. That's the thing. 
You know, I, I, I honestly am such a phenomenal, I'm gonna toot my own horn, I am so phenomenal at relationships. I am so incredible at being able to maintain relationship with Amanda and have her be such an important, vital place in my heart. And here's the thing is that you need that with your body. You need to go out and date your body again. Chances are it feels really misunderstood. It feels very undervalued and underappreciated. And so it is your duty. It is your obligation. I'm going to say it's a moral obligation to circulate that energy and that abundance within you to fully express yourself on the world. In fact, that is one of my favorite, absolute favorite quotes. I'm going a little long today, but I'm feeling inspired. So I'm going to go with it is there is a there was a gentleman named Wallace D. Waddles, silliest name ever, but he was born in the eight, uh, 1800s, 17, 1800s, and he was quoted to say, you have a moral obligation to circulate, again, he says moral, circulate wealth and abundance. You have a moral obligation to circulate, circulate, not hold on to, not hoard, circulate wealth and abundance to fully express yourself on the planet. And I'm going to say that in different words to say you have a moral obligation to circulate energy and abundance within yourself, within this continuum of your body and your mind to fully express yourself in the world. Whew, I feel hot. That is awesome. I am rocking it. I am excited for you to rock it and for you to keep moving forward. Please shoot me a PM. Please share this with people if you are feeling inspired. We begin November 19th. Your body blueprint begins. So excited to walk you down the energetic, emotional, spiritual path of connection and more importantly, relationship with your body mind. Have an incredible day. Here is to you. Keep moving forward.